Hey there, wonderful humans of the planet we call Earth. This is a water pump. If you guys recall from my video yesterday, this is the XS PC water pump that I picked up in the big bundle that I got. It was leaking a little bit from back here on this fitting, but as you can see, dry as a bone, I think, yeah. Yeah, dry as a bone, because I'm willing to take a risk and do things. That kind of leads me into what I wanted to talk about today. This is a system that you're going to be seeing a video on, and ignore the cattywampus way everything's set up. I just kind of pulled it partially apart to run the power supply for this. But it leads me into what I wanted to talk about. And that's this. This is Project Red Devil-ish. It's not the final version because obviously I plan on upgrading the board again, but I wanted to talk to you about why I do stuff like this. Why do any of us modders, custom builders, enthusiasts, whatever you want to call us, why do we do this kind of stuff? Well, I'm going to tell you, we do this kind of stuff because gosh dang it, it's fun. And I know that sounds like a 50s dad, gosh darn it, beaver, get to your room. But it's the gosh honest truth. And I don't know why I'm not trying to swear, it doesn't matter, I cuss all the time, but I want to just kind of talk for a minute and explain to you guys why systems like this exist. And I'm not talking about just ones I've built. I'm talking about any custom system anywhere that you've ever seen. The number one reason why they exist is because we can. Why climb a mountain? Because it's there. Why build a streetcar that can do 270 miles an hour? Because nobody had done it before. And for a large majority of us, that isn't necessary, but for the minority, in which I include myself, we like to build weird stuff, custom stuff, individualized stuff. I want you guys to take a quick second and think amongst yourself, and then raise your hand and tell me how many of you have a gunmetal gray P3 case with the GTX 670 and a custom water loop. Go ahead. I'll wait. Put it in the comments. And that's right. Probably none of you. There may be one or two that have done this kind of thing before, but this one is mine. I did this one. Me. Not Dell, not CyberPower, not iBuyPower, none of those places. Me. For 75 to 85% of the buying public, pre-built will do fine. Or a CyberPower, which is still technically a pre-built, but it uses custom parts. But I like to get hands-on for a number of reasons. Number one is most manufacturers, and that includes pretty much any industry that involves anything that can be tweaked, be that cars, computers, handheld electronics, weapons, whatever the case may be, manufacturers know that there are some people out there, and you know who you are, that want to modify what they have. So they have to build them with safe limits it's a limitation that they set for themselves in which they get what they consider a good amount of performance without damaging the components in everyday use, yet leaving some room for people that know what they're doing to go in afterwards and modify. And again, guns, weapons, electronics, it's all the same. But for every one of us, again, me included, there's probably 85 people that are fine going out buying a Dell Optiplex 7010 system with the i5-3470 and whatever it came with and just using it, be it businesses, home theaters, people that just don't care about gaming, whatever the case is, there are tons of Dell Optiplexes out there because of that very fact. In fact, and I'm not calling out the company, but Apple plays that plan to a T, and that's why they make so much money and they have so many products and they love it. That's why you can't open an Apple. You can't open an iPhone. You can't change the battery without tearing it completely apart. You can't do anything because they have engineered what they consider their best product. And the Apple buyer will always pay a premium. Pay a premium? They will pay a premium to get what they consider Apple quality. And it works for them. Great. They make tons of money. But you'll never see me buying a computer that I want to modify that has RAM soldered to the board like the Power Max did. That's insane. I want to be able to modify my system. And again, not calling out Apple. I respect what they've done in the industry. But I will never buy an Apple product because they are too locked down. That being said, 
Five minutes, I think, is long enough. That, in a nutshell, is why I build crazy crap like this, do crazy crap like this, and enjoy crazy crap like this. If you guys enjoy crazy crap like this, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe over here. Consider becoming a Patreon or maybe even just contributing directly with the channel with like a donation of some sort and I'll make a video out of it. And you can watch another video over here. And as always, my thumb will talk to you later.